Well, she was an institution on Burlington's Church Street Marketplace for nearly 30 years. The hot dog lady, Lois Badoki. Lois's hot dogs and her hairstyle made her a famous fixture. But whatever happened to the conventional cart she wheeled around the Queen City for all those years? We found it 95 miles away from its original home. In the small Northeast Kingdom village of West Charleston, Paul Redden IV possesses a piece of Burlington's days gone by. It was like a perfect little cute cart. That little cube cart once belonged to a woman with a big personality. Mustard, ketchup, relish, onion, sauerkraut, chili, cheese, hot sauce, and celery salt. Lois Badoki sold hot dogs out of that cart on Church Street from 1977 to 2005. There's a plaque near her old spot honoring Lois's loyal service. I bought many a hot dog from her in the day. Kurt Wright was on the Burlington City Council during most of Lois's tenure. He knew that after Lois retired, she lived in the city for a bit, but eventually moved to California to be with family before passing away in December of 2013. Because I thought to myself, he never really thought about what happened to the cart. How did the famous Lois the hot dog lady's cart get up in the Northeast Kingdom? Or up here for some reason. Paul Redden purchased it last fall at the Derby Flea Market. Again, that's what at the time, he was looking into starting his own hot dog selling business. This was just among all the stuff in a tent. And I just kept noticing it every time I drove by it. Like, it felt like it was calling to me. And how much did you pay for it? $350. Is the big drawer the the woman who took over for Lois selling hot dogs on Church Street told me that in 2018 she sold the cart on Craigslist to the owner of the Derby Flea Market. Paul never knew the history of the cart or true value it has to the Queen City community. Got her original hot dog sleigh. When he was researching how to repair it, Paul posted a photo of the cart on Facebook. And that's when my post blew up streams of people telling me about their memories of the cart. The big question for Paul now is what to do with this cart. He's definitely interested in restoring it and sharing it with a community that knew it so well. I haven't done any restoration on it. It's got the original handles that she held on to. I would love to see it back down here operating as a hot dog cart if it was possible. I know it's old and needs some cleaning up, but I'd like to see it back here on the marketplace in some fashion, just because it was such a part of the history here. It was such a cool thing to find. Like, I'm glad I kept it from getting lost. People grew up coming to this, and then they brought their kids to come see this cart. So it's like finding a, a lost franchise somehow and what it is and what it could be, you know, in the future, I wanted to be part of. An idea to serve hot lunches. A placard here that's so old, the logo's gone. Uncovered a hot ticket item and a chance to preserve the past. Paul has created a Facebook page dedicated to the hot dog cart. We have a link to that on our website, WCAX.com. You can leave your memories, suggest what you would like to see happen with the cart, and find out how you can help Paul restore it.